everywhere that I go. It's dark. What do you do? Well, I look for life in the cosmos. Maybe that life's looking for you. Are we alone? Maybe, but not for long. Well, I got those astrobiologist blues. That's why I sing this song. When the aliens come, will they come in peace? <laughs> or will they make us their pets and put us all on a leash? Oh, are we alone? <laughs> Maybe, but not for long. Well, I got those astrobiologist blues, and that's why I sing this song. Gotta take care of this planet. Yes, sir. Cause it's all we got. Yes, sir. Talk to me. No, we can't move to Venus no, we because we know it's too damn hot. Oh, are we alone? Oh, good pizza, though, Venus. <laughs> I can't tell you without a doubt. How are you going to tell me that? Well, are we alone? I don't know, but I'll tell you how we're going to find out. Tell you how we're going to find out. Well, we've got to explore all the potentially habitable planets in the solar system, anywhere where there is or was liquid water, energy, organic molecules. This includes the clouds of Venus, the subsurface of Mars, the oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa, Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus, and even a possible interior ocean of Pluto. Meanwhile, we need to search 100 billion exoplanets in the Milky Way galaxy for signs of life. In order to do this, we'll need to develop the next generation of space telescopes and spectrometers so we can examine those alien atmospheres and search for the chemistry produced by life forms interacting with their environments. These new instruments will not be inexpensive, but they may allow us to finally answer the age-old haunting question, are we alone? So in short, kids, if you want to know if there are any aliens, write to your congressperson and tell them to increase funding for astrobiology. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, if you like this, please remember, everything that we do can be found commercial-free, plus exclusive original content, all on StarTalkAllAccess.com.